Houston, the MTA CG Snowplow Cadet Cruisers will be taken in field spring school along with full service here and then a bed. So how are you doing today? I am fantastic. I'm having a great day so far on a beautiful Saturday afternoon here live from Van Brunt Field at NASCAR Thunder Lake Auburn. So, Fieldston School will kick off. And the kick goes out of bounds. Flag on the play, and the Cougars will start with good field position. So the Cougars will elect for a re-kick from Fieldston School. I think they want the ball to go down there because they got Trey back there. So they As we said, they want a clean kick off. Trey Wilson back deep to return. Fieldston School will kick off from their own 35. Hey, to you, Alexander Thrope will be the man to kick this one off. Here we go. Ball is up in the air and fielded by Trey Wilson just about the five yard line. He'll work his way up past the 20, over to the 30 and just out of bounds at about the 33 yard line. Trey Wilson already making contribution. Starting off. So out comes the MKA Cougars offense led by quarterback Christian Breitweiser. Probably should have accepted the penalty because I think they would have gotten it at the 40 if they did. That is true. They would have gotten it at the 40-yard line. But still, fun to watch Trey yeah, Wilson return it. Right Always makes a couple guys miss. It was a nice return from Trey Wilson and the Cougars will get it started from about the 30. Breitweiser on the pitch to Wilson. Wilson gains it's going to be a face mask against Fieldston School and the Cougars are going to pick up a first down on this one. It's going to come down a lot to the offensive line today I think too. They can get a push off there. They've had some problems early. Christian had to fumble four times against Glen Ridge because they just couldn't keep him protected back there. But. Well off to a good start today as the Cougars are going to move it up 15 on the face mask by Fieldston School. And so on the first play from scrimmage, they gain about 20 yards. So the Cougars in enemy territory now. On the left hash, Brightweiser. Another handoff to Wilson up the middle, gains a couple yards. Big throw down there by three four white. Second and seven for the Cougars now. From the 43. Brightweiser fake handoff. Re on a keeper, Brightweiser. And did he get the first?
Looks like he is just short third and inches. So what will the Cougars do third and inches? Blight Weiser tends to scramble a lot and a good gain on that last play there. Arguably fourth down territory here in high school. They don't get it. Either. Yeah, past midfield. I don't think they'll try and kick a field goal. Then. Well, it won't matter. First down. Right run up the middle. For the Cougars. The helmet flew off for uh, Luke Spagnoli on the carry, and the Cougars will have a first down. Putting together a good first drive here. All on the ground, though. No uh, throw attempts yet. If it's working, it's working. Well, we'd like to see the Cougars establish a passing game, but they don't need to show all of their weapons early. Only the first drive. Two minutes gone in the first and a handoff to Wilson bounces out to the left side and he's going to get a lot here. Don't get out of bounds. Trey Wilson so explosive always finding those lanes hitting those gaps hard. Everybody Second and three coming for the Cougars. Right wiser fake handoff and he's gonna take it himself for a couple, but it looks like he came up short there. Yeah, not a big game there. If they don't start throwing it eventually, they're just gonna they're never gonna jump on the play action, they're just gonna go for it every time. Well they've got a third and short here. Be interesting to see their decision. They could keep it with Bright Wiser. Could give it to Spagnoli, could give it to Ethan Gross, who we haven't seen yet. Could give it to Trey Wilson. A lot of options to take it. But sooner or later, it would be nice to see a pass here. Third and three, I'm going to think they're going to run it here to try up the middle. And they do run it with Trey up the middle, but he is stopped. What are you doing here to the coach? You're trying to kick the field goal out here from probably be a 35 yard pick? It's a tough field goal. I'd go for it. I would definitely go for it here on fourth. Yeah, it's a good call. It's too close to punt, and it's kind of too long at the high school level for a field goal. Looks like they're lining up to throw here, unless it's going to be another QB scramble by Rutwizen. It'll be one or the other. He's in the shotgun here. Trey in motion. Face the block. He's going to run. Rutwizen will pick up the first down, and it looks like after the play, roughing the pass, looks like it was a late hit. That's just unnecessary by number five, White, there. I'd like to see a response while the Cougars out on the field. Here. Well, number five, Alexander Thrope on that late hit. And that'll cost Fieldston. It was a first down either way. So the Cougars have it first and goal. On the 10. White Weiser pitch to Trey. Wilson into the end zone for a touchdown, but there are flags. We'll await the call. It's holding on the Cougars. So that's just costly. Hate to see that happen as an offensive coordinator. Wilson's touchdown will be negated. We'll move it back. We'll replay first down. Well, Cole, you're right. Trey Wilson making an immediate impact. He's got to keep the ball in his hands there and hope the offensive line doesn't cost him like that. But we've seen the offensive line make nothing but good plays so far after that one. A tough holding call there against the Cougars. And it'll move them back. A potential passing situation. 
first and 20. So here come the Cougars to try it again after the holding call. Breitweiser again pitches to Trey. Trey gets to the outside. But for a minimal gain. Three yards to be exact on that one. Got a heavy task ahead of them having to go 19 yards it looks like in three two plays. Well that's where Maybe the Cougars' first passing attempt of the day might come into play. It's looking like high school football right now. We've got zero passes on this first uh, 70 yard drive. Well, the running game has been working for them. They shouldn't switch it at the course. Curious to see what they do on a third and 12 situation. Christian drops back. Brightweiser will take it himself. And he will be stopped at about the 14. To the 11, he will go. Almost thought he was going to throw it there, but got a good gain on the ground. Well, the way they were lined up, it yeah. looked like Maybe a possibility. Maybe it was a read option, you know. Third and 11. Will this be a pass? I think you got to throw it here. got to throw it, too. I was running, trying to slant here across the left. Spagnoli in the backfield. No, but he'll take it himself. Brightweiser on the keeper and he'll come up short. You go for it. Fourth and two. I don't know. This is interesting. We'll, we'll see what the coach thinks about his kicking game because you'd hate to come up here with no points after this great drive. But if I'm the coach here, I'm going for it. Going for it. On the five. I don't know. I'm probably kicking it. But looking like they're lining up for the. Uh, looking like they're lining up to go for it. At least right now, it appears that the Cougars will go for it on fourth and goal. Five yards away from pay dirt. Brightweiser scrambling, throwing to the end zone, touchdown! That ball is caught by Jack O'Connell and the Cougars. Take a 6-0 lead here on their opening drive. Risky play, but it worked out for the Cougars there. O'Connell just came wide open on the... Christian Brettweiser having a great passing game. 100% completions right there. 100%. Yes, he is one for one. Not missed. In fact, 100% touchdown right every time he throws. It's going in the end zone. It's going in the end zone. Caught by Jack O'Connell there, and Brettweiser on for the PAT. Oh, blocked. It is blocked. Maybe that's why they didn't kick it on fourth and yeah, the point is blocked. Hate to see it. Well, it was certainly a good call to go for it. The Cougars go up six to nothing. We'll get a first look at the Cougars defense taking on Fieldston School next. No, 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 I'm just you know, it's, it's that. Okay, okay. That. It's, all right. Wait, no, no, but there's definitely. And it's not on the right page. I used it. Wait, there's, there's another. Oh, oh, oh! You gotta oh, adjust oh, the. Yeah, you gotta yeah, yeah. adjust the. Oh. Oh, good. We almost didn't do that. What do you say, Blue? Let's go. Let's go let's oh yeah, yeah, no, it's here. Uh, wait, 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 yeah, we're gonna. We'll do it now. All right. And remember to adjust the score. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, this. Also, when you talk, just come close to Alright, quick. Yeah, wait, hang on, team. Kick off. Okay. Right wiser launches it. He'll take it. Fielded by number 11 on Fieldston, oh. Jake Horowitz. Now get out to about the 35 and oh, some extracurricular activity. Will Blake on the stop. 
Keys to the defense, Cole? Um, hmm, I just got to think they got to stop deep plays down here. Can't have any breakdowns in the secondary. And obviously it comes down to the D-line now just as much as it came down to the offensive line. So here's Fieldston. Number 12, the quarterback on the keeper, Jesse Cooper Leary. He's playing the backfield. And the Cougar defense gets off to a good start. Don Greendale just got the start at offensive line a couple days ago after not starting in the beginning of the season. And he's been big for the Cougars, a big stop there. Second down and 12 for Fieldston. Cooper Leary throws complete to Ben Rosen Capalazzo. Minimal gain. Just about gets back to the line of scrimmage. Cougars quarterback gets the tackle there. It's all over the field. By Weiser. Contributes on both sides. 10 yards ago. So you see with small schools though, don't have enough players to uh, have two different D's in offense. Okay. Risky to play your quarterback on defense, but Bright Weiser is a playmaker. Cooper Leary, here comes the blitz from MKA. And throw complete, but it will definitely be short. Some arguments here about whether that ball was complete. I thought that might have been a defenseless receiver right there. Kind of hit him from the knees up in the air, but no call. Well, it was Gabe Hostin who made that catch. Big hit by Will Blake. It's like they're going for it here in fourth and short on their own side of the 50. Very risky. Risky, just about midfield. They're going to go for it. The handoff. And Alexander Thrope will pick it up first down. Big power drive through the middle. Tough to give it up there. And a fresh set of downs for the Fieldston School. Cooper Leary hands it off. Barely pushed out of bounds down there. A big gain for Fieldston. And another fresh set of downs. So big run there for Fieldston School, and the Cougars are going to have to find an answer. Deep ball, and it is caught big for the touchdown. Gabe Hostin with his second reception of the day, second reception of the drive, and it's a touchdown to tie the game here at Van Brunt Field. It appears that they're no kick the PAT here. Their quarterback will be taking the kick also. Quarterback appears to be holding and kick is good. I will give Fieldston the seven six. Alexander Thrope to give Fieldston school a lead. Well, both teams scored touchdowns on their opening drive. Should be a fun one. We'll be back. Don't go anywhere.
is. Yeah, I was about to say his name. I'm like, oh. Maybe he's a ringer. Did you think you just picked this guy off? He's just uh, driving around Montclair looking for players. Yeah. All right. Oh, shit. All right, you want to get out of it? Yeah. What do I hear? Black screen? Yeah. The kickoff from throw. Here we go. Deep kick. Trey will catch it. Bobbles it. So that'll go out of bounds. Fielded by Trey Wilson in the end zone. Touchback. So both teams scored on their opening drives. 3:51 to go here in the first quarter on this Saturday afternoon game between the Cougars and Fieldston. Cougars will start on their 20 yard line after the touchback. First and 10, Brightweiser throwing Caught and immediately tackled is Narain Rajani. I don't think that play had any uh, potential there. No blocks on the side. Came down to him having to make that guy miss. And well, it was Gabe Hostin on the stop who's already hurt the Cougars with that big touchdown catch. Having the day out in the first quarter. Might be a big factor here today. That's 3.30 to play left in the first. Second and 12, that play went backwards. Lost two yards on that one. And Breitweiser on the pitch to Wilson, and he's gonna go! Wilson! And he stays in bounds! You really gotta hope he gets a sick celebration. 82-yard touchdown for Trey Wilson! And this crowd is going wild. Cougars back on top. And that's that athleticism we were talking about before the game started. You just got to give them the ball and watch what happens. An explosive electrifying run from Trey Wilson. And the Cougars take a 12-7 lead. Brightweiser. See if the offensive line can get a block here on special teams. And Brightweiser's kick is good. 13-7 Cougars. So a big run by Wilson puts the Cougars back on top. Don't go anywhere. So we're back, Brightweiser, to kick it off after the 82-yard score from Wilson. Roots one, fielded at about the 20, and stopped at about the 36-yard line. Is Jake Horowitz of Fieldston. So first and ten. I think the Cougars D did pretty well last time. Got into a fourth down a couple times, but only takes one lapse in the secondary to cause a score there, and that's what happened. Well, it was a beautiful throw from Cooper Leary and a beautiful catch by Gabe Hostin. And that connection 
is why Fieldston has seven on the board. Cooper Leary looking to throw again. Here comes the rush. He's going to scramble. And he's going to take it himself. And he's going to be close to the first. I don't know if he quite got there. Looks like a couple of uh, receivers were loose down there, down the field. So it might be actually good for the Cougars. Decided to take it on the ground. Well, the rush appeared to be getting to him there. Going to be second and two. Yeah, second and two. And here's the handoff. And Alexander Thrope takes it for a first down. Just about two and a half minutes to go here in the first quarter. So Fieldston sets up about midfield. Fresh set of downs. Here's the snap and a Look like a little wildcat there. The snap did not go to Cooper Leary. A, a direct snap and a direct sneak for four yards. Second and six. A big second and six here. Cougars, if they could hold Fieldston up right here, it'd be a big stop for their D. And, oh, took like a little shovel there just to get it out of there, but there's a flag on the play. Almost a sack, but escaped the pressure. Well, we'll see where this penalty will go. Holding on the offense, so. Fieldston will have to move it back. Second and 18. It's gonna be a big stop for the Cougars here. A golden opportunity. First a stop. Left in the first quarter. Cooper Leary looking back to throw. He's got a man complete. Big tackle, Trey Wilson. Wrapped him up Horowitz goes nowhere with that one. And Fieldston faces a third and long. You'd like to think they're punting on this one if they don't get close to the fourth. Get close to the uh, first down here. Well, if they don't have a significant gain here, would not be a smart decision to go for it, especially in their own territory. Looking downfield, a little pitch. And... Another flag down. It's like a holding call on White. A big gain from Drake Horowitz, but there is a flag on the play. So this will go against Fieldston. Offensive holding calls really hurt the offensive players there, especially after they make a big move up the field. That will negate a big gain. And the Cougars will get another chance to take a big defensive stop here. Third down at 13. The Fields and the Eagles really having trouble with the penalties early on. And they got to help themselves here and play some clean football from here on out. The snap looking downfield. Deep ball caught by Jake Horowitz. 
down to the six yard line. I'm standing beside him. It's those secondary lapses that are really hurting the team right now because other than that, they're holding them pretty strong. The second deep ball we've seen thrown by Cooper Leary, and he's connecting. Both quarterbacks passing 100% right now. Right. Oh, Leary, Leary, Cooper Leary. So a, a few more completions, but Brightweiser threw for that nice touchdown. Big hit. That one's not going anywhere. Captain Adam Herbs with a huge stop up the middle. Big stop there by Adam Herbs. And that'll do it for the first quarter. Stick around. 13-7. Cougars on top. So back here for the start of the second quarter. Fields didn't want to very far to go here to uh, tie the game or take the lead. Uh, Here's the like snap looking deep. Touchdown. Henry Herzog with the touchdown. Courtesy of Cooper Leary. And Fieldston has once again tied the game. Chance to take the lead here on the extra point. Throw up on to kick the extra point. He's one for one on the day on PAT opportunities. That one looks good through the upright there. Well, make it two for two. As Fieldston on the first play of the second quarter grabs a one point lead. We will take a quick timeout and when we come back, the Cougar offense will be on the field. So Thrope was good on the PAT, and now we'll kick it away. Deep kick, Trey Wilson. Clean catch. He'll have room to run. Wilson makes a cut. And Wilson up the field. He is gone. Wilson will take it the distance. A 98-yard kick return for Trey Wilson. And just like that, the Cougars are back up on top. It's just fun to watch. That's all you can say about it. Just fun to watch. 
Boy, Trey Wilson has been running wild on the Eagles. Two touchdowns already. Boy, he is just explosive Barely when... into the second quarter. And the Eagles are learning once you let him free, you're not getting them back. No, you will not. Wish I could start him on my fantasy team. That would be nice. I already racked up a lot of points. Maybe I wouldn't be one and two. 19 to 14, Breitweiser on for the PAT. And it's good. 20 to 14, Cougars. This is a good old fashioned shootout. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. Trading touchdowns are the Eagles and the Cougars. Not a very defensive game at all. No, not so far, Cole. And the latest touchdown, a 98-yard, 98-yarder from Trey Wilson. And Breitweiser will kick it off here. Field it about the 10. And taken up. Oh, pass midfield, and they're trying to return the favor. Christian will bring him down though uh, before the 40. That was Ben Rosen Capalazzo. A big return there. Trying to channel his inner Trey Wilson there. Not quite, but it was a good attempt. <laughs> the Cougars were a little bad not break there. <laughs> Gave up some yards, but Christian we'll give their defense a chance. The tackle, so. They come up with a stop here. Patrick Morissot runs out on the field. Try and clog up the middle here. As hard as it is to believe, we're only about 40 seconds into the second quarter and already two touchdowns. Games get a lot longer when people don't make uh, defensive stops. A rollout. Christian with the... Leary Cooper sacked by Christian Breitweiser. The quarterback sacks the other quarterback. So Cooper Leary there was going back and he just saw Christian Breitweiser back. Right up in his face, he wasn't escaping. Another second and long for Fields in here, but they've gotten it out of before. Let's see if they can get out of it again. Well, MKA knows that they are capable of the deep pass and they gotta find a way to adjust to that. It's really been their only weakness so far outside of a uh, couple runs up the middle. A pitch into the backfield, that's not going to go anywhere. Dragged up behind again, two plays for a long, third and longer. The combined stop out of Merv's Christian Breitweiser. Take down Alexander Throp in the backfield, third and forever. Well, you'd like to think they're punting on this one if they don't get close. Well, High that's the key. Tend to make some, uh, Rash decisions. MKA's got to be thinking long pass here. It's been a game of MKA on the ground and Fields in the air. So. And what a game it's been. Dropping back. Deep throw and it's intercepted. Jack O'Connell. Jack O'Connell. One on offense and one on defense. 
So a big touchdown earlier to O'Connell, and now he treats the Cougar crowd to an interception. Absolutely having a day out there. First big defensive play of the day for either side. And now the Cougars will take over deep in their own territory. So the Cougar offense will start from about the 18 yard line. White Wise with a handoff to Wilson, makes a cut, moves upfield, Wilson. Loose again. And that looks like a wrap around the head there. No flag though, as I can see. Big Another game. Big play. Cougars were looking for the flag. Didn't get one, and now two about the 44. Trey's almost over 200 all-purpose yards. Brightweiser takes it for a couple. And we're 15 minutes into the game. Well, it's been a high-scoring one so far. Full of exciting plays. Most notably, two big touchdowns from Trey Wilson. Wilson and Jack O'Connell have provided the big, exciting plays today. It will be a second and seven for the Cougars. O'Connell out wide. And Brightweiser will take it himself. And a good tackle there from the Eagles. Minimal gain. Not very far there. That'll bring up third and seven. What do you do here? I'm passing it, but I don't know. Coach does not look like you've had much confidence in the throwing game so far, so. Third down and six. But you could see two runs here, and they can get it close on the next one. See him go for it. Well, they are at about midfield, so wouldn't be out of the question that the Cougars might try it here if it comes to a fourth down. Trey will take it directly. And another Wildcat. Stiff arm, and he's loose. Trey Wilson gets loose for a big game. There is just no answer for him so far from Fieldson. And a nice play call there. Definitely, definitely. First down. At this point, you might as well just snap it to him directly because they're not throwing it anyway. So just cut out the middleman. Well, that's exactly what they did on that last play. I believe still only one throwing attempt on the day. I think so, uh, a screen pass, but outside of that. Oh, yes. Only one down the field. Another screen pass. A little overshot him, but he got it. A little check down there to Narain Rajani. His second catch of the day. Rajani, a pair of catches. Cougars are having a conference down at the 45. And here comes Brightweiser. <laughs> Communicating the play calls from the sideline. Second and nine. Brightweiser dropping back, looking downfield. And that ball is intercepted. Just a bad throw there. I don't know what he was looking at. Ryan Connard on the interception. And that'll give Fields in their first interception of the day. And these teams 
Going back and forth. Touchdown, touchdown, interception, interception. It's been a great game so far. And still seven minutes to go here in the second quarter. It's been an eventful one. So a quick turnaround as the offense for the Eagles on the field. Just about ready to run a first down play. Cooper Leary hands it off to Alexander Throp. Little game. Adam Herbs with a big tackle there up the middle. Very key to the defense. Always making stops down the middle. Adam Herbs with some key stops early on. Second and five. Cooper Leary looking downfield. Did he get it both down? The ref is saying yes, and they'll move the chains. Complete to Gabe Hostin. Remember, he had that touchdown catch earlier. He did, and it was a magnificent one at that. First down for the Fieldston Eagles. And it looks like we're gonna have a timeout here. 6.15 to go in the second quarter. Timeout from the MKA Cougars. We'll take a timeout ourselves, but when we come back, we still have six minutes of football here in the second quarter. So after the Cougar timeout, and off to Fieldson. Uh, stop by Arcilla. And a stop there by the Cougars, it'll be third down. Fieldston's moving down the field here. First down here for the Eagles. Five man blitz. Dropping back and the catch is made. He'll have room to run. Look, he's going. And he looks like he's gotten free. Steps out of bounds there. Yeah, he stepped, stepped out of bounds there. But another big catch from Gabe Hostin. 
A lot of big plays from both offenses. So Eagles are set up here. First and 10 at the Cougars 28. Cooper Leary drops back and it's complete. And he will get brought down after a nice little gain of seven yards, it looks like. That was Ben Rosen Capelozo on the short game. Two yards to go for the first. A little controversy here on the field. Fieldston coach looks like they're having some words with the referee right now, and the ref does not appear to be having it. Getting a little heated out there. Monty! Coach is very much not happy with whatever decisions the refs are making out there. Well, he's still barking at him. I'm, we don't really know what this is about. In any case, Fieldston will set up here. Dropping back. And Here comes the set. blitz. Big play there. Dominic Greendale with the sack. He's had a nice day for himself as well. Couple tackles and that'll set up a third down. Third and eight, so Dominic Greendale Great defensive play there. He put them six yards further from the first. And a timeout for Fieldston. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Third and eight. Dropping back, here's the pass complete. Bad, get it? Bad tackle attempt by the Cougars there. Went too low and did not get a piece of them. Eventually brought down. But it'll be fourth down now. It looks like the Cougars got the stop. And if patterns repeat here, they will not be going for the field goal. Well, five yards to go for the first, but no sign of any special teams unit coming out. Looks like the offense is going to stay on the field. Big stop here for the Cougars here if they can get it. Yep, the offense will line up in a four receiver set here. Cooper Leary takes the snap. He's looking deep. deep. And that looks overthrown. End zone and it's intercepted. And that's going to be O'Connell's second interception of the day. Takes a knee in the end zone, so the Cougars will have a touchback. And that's the football IQ you like to see. If you tried to run it back, they'd get pinned way deeper than they needed to be. Well, a great catch, great focus by O'Connell. And now with about three minutes to go in the first half, the Cougars will have a chance to extend their lead. AOC! First and ten. Th 
Just under three minutes to play in the first half here. Snap to Brettweiser, he'll take it himself. And he's got room to run also. Great block. Moves downfield. Brettweiser shoved out of bounds. Pass Great 50. Run. Enemy territory now for the Cougars. And you got to give credit to the offensive line here. I know not a lot of... They, they don't get the yards on the stat sheet, but they're the reason they're moving up the field. Well, yeah, that was heads up running by Brightweiser, and it was created by some nice blocking there. So first down here. A little pitch to Trey Wilson, and he's going to go at to about the 33-yard line. He will get wrapped up on that one, but nice gain on the play. So it'll be a second and three for the Cougars now. We probably expect a run here. Probably, I would think that'd be a good time. They have not ran it to Ethan Gross yet, and I think that'd be a good play. He's got a lot of uh, the big guy to go up the middle here. Well, Gross has gotten a lot of carries in the previous games for the Cougars. Did but not seen him today. Uh, whatever the coaches are calling, it's been working so far. Brightwise will take it again. He will get eaten up, but the flag's down. And wow, oh, that's got to be a whistle or something, and another one. More extracurricular activity, and as the play stands, it's not a first, but we'll see what the flags do now. And you hate to see that. That's how players get injured out here. Especially when your quarterback is involved. Cougars are probably going to have to take this one personally. If this was anything like the NFL, that guy would be in prison right now. Certainly see a fine. Yeah. <laughs> Brettweiser got right up, and it looks like he'll be here on this next play after We're, the refs are done deliberating. So it looks like this call is going to go against the Cougars. Looks like it's going to be offsetting, probably. Or maybe not. Oh, no, it's against the Cougars, it looks like. Oh. Oh, and the ref's walking back. <laughs> Well, the personal foul will rule out, and the Cougars will gain 15 on that one. First down. That's another Fieldston penalty that's just holding them back here. Well, we said all day they've not been helping themselves. Yeah. Emotions are getting the better of them right there. and Really just hurting the team. No, 100%. they got to keep their mind on football and make sure that they're not trying to slam the quarterback after the play's over. they just got to play. In between the whistles and nothing after, and that's what their coaches have to tell them. See if they can turn that around after the uh, halftime meeting. First and ten for the Cougars. Christian will take it. He'll have room to run. His lid will fly off there, but after a great game. You gotta respect him on that. He just went right for it, leading with his helmet against the defender. He's not scared, folks. No, he is not. Christian will step off the field for this play, it looks like. So let's see how they run the offense without him. Trey lines up as the quarterback, so you're assuming it's some kind of run here. Oh, now he's got a halfback. Well, you got to be concerned about that. I mean, a big hit in his helmet came off. We'll see if he's okay. Just talking to the trainer now. We'll let you know if we get any updates. Nice little run up the middle there. As they're close to their fourth touchdown of the game. David Sheffitt, number 74, with some good blocks up the middle today. And Fieldston will have a substitution. Brett Wise, you're looking like he's ready to get back on the field right now, so that's good to see if you're a Cougar fan. As I'm sure most people watching MKA TV are. 
Oh, you got to think when a player's helmet comes off on a big hit, you got to fear the concussion, but it looks like he's okay. And he will take this one with three around him. Hands off the tray. Good spin move attempt, but he will be brought down for a minimal gain. Wilson down to about the eight yard line and He'll set up for a uh, third and decent one. Third down and seven to be exact. Just about a minute to go here in this second quarter of Cougars football. Now if I don't get it, I'm taking the field goal here, especially because they already missed a PAT and they need to earn some points back. Yeah, Brightweiser's been consistent all day, so. Oh, and he'll run it. Looks like he's got room into the end zone. And the referees. The signal is touchdown. Oh, Does not look like a touchdown call. No, they marked him short. Now yeah, they're calling him short. Early. I don't know about that. We did not have the angle on it, so we'll trust the referees. Well, early indications seem to be a touchdown, but it now like it looks like just short. But fourth and short, he'll just scramble it there and oh. no call immediately there either. Waiting for the signal and, and arms not flying up, so it looks like another no touchdown call there. Well, MKA digging in the playbook. Look at QB sneak. That's what you want to run when you're on the one yard line, but yeah. didn't work there. Did not. Timeout will be called with 24 seconds to play in the second quarter. So the Cougars have a big scoring opportunity here. We'll take a quick timeout with them and be back after this. back here another scram up the middle his helmet is off again it looks like unless I saw that wrong no it's off and another missed opportunity you gotta tighten that helmet up your quarterback's gonna get injured really quickly and gonna be another Cougar timeout with 16 seconds to go and the Cougars are just making sure that they don't lose this opportunity Uh, third attempt to stick it in the end zone here. Think they're going to call the same play to Brett Weiser or try um, something else? Well, Brett Weiser's not even on the field right now. But I think he will. I mean, two touchdowns on the day. I think you got to get Trey Wilson involved here. Maybe a pitch. It looks like he, the snap will be to Trey Wilson as Christian is not on the field for this play on the third down attempt. Interesting call, third and inches. Very disappointing if they don't stick it in here. They use their third and final timeout, so no more ways to stop the clock. I think that was a uh, risky timeout call here because if they don't get it, they're going to have to be in the huddle. Snap to Trey Wilson, and he's going to get in there. It won't be a problem. Touchdown, Trey Wilson. No surprises here as for the third time today. We uh, read out number seven's name in the end zone. And the Cougars will extend their lead. Twenty-six to fourteen, and just what we thought. Little pitch. Trey Wilson took it in. 
Big names to read out in the first half of the Cougars have been Jack O'Connell, two interceptions and a touchdown pass, and uh, Trey Wilson with three touchdowns. Bright Weiser for the extra point. And another blocked one, and that's, you just hate to see it if you're a Cougars fan right there. Is they can't capitalize on what should be three points. You really do in this first half. The Cougars have four touchdowns, but two blocked PATs. The other two were good, so a split there. Special teams blocking's got to improve. Just a mere 11 seconds left in the first half, and the stories have all been from the Cougars' side, They're dominating this one. But still a good game. Eagles have plenty of time in the second half to make this one interesting. And the pass game's been working a little bit early. After, once the second quarter came around, they started throwing some interceptions, but if they can get back to what they were doing early on, I think they can tie it up. Interceptions and penalties have really hurt this team, and the Cougars have made the most of it. 11 seconds here. Cougars just want to escape this half without giving the field to any more points. Well, we've seen big returns on both sides, and the Cougars have to be wary of that. Don't want to give Fieldston a field goal or a touchdown opportunity with a mere 11 seconds Def to go. Definitely. 11 seconds, definitely enough time here to make a play. Especially as they have number eight back there who's looked hard to tackle today. Cougar set up. Brightweiser. A little squib kick. And he will go down immediately and just turtle over the ball. Well, a smart play. Gives them a few passing opportunities, and as you said, they've been clutched downfield. Very true. And we'll see what they do here on the uh, last 11 seconds of the first half. Well, Jesse Cooper Leary, the quarterback for the Eagles, has proved that he has, he's had a good arm. So I'd be surprised if he didn't get a few shots here downfield. And Jack O'Connell would agree also. Yes, he supplied a few nice balls to Jack O'Connell today. I think Jack's caught more from him than from Christian. That is true. Christian back as the safety. And Oh, and Jack almost had his third interception of the day with a room to run, but drops it on that one. Well, football's a game of inches and inches out of the hands of Jack O'Connell, and that was Cougars would have extended their lead greatly there. That would have been a pick six. Definitely. I think we'll see Fieldstein go with a conservative play call here after that almost. Gave him another one, gave him another touchdown before the half. Well, they dodged a bullet there, and they got to just now clock it. Or at least throw it downfield, but I think they'll probably... I don't know. We'll see what happens, actually. Oh, offsides. And now, Cole, if I'm Fieldston, now going to be moved back again. I see no reason to take a shot. Unless Leary's got an absolute cannon right now, and he just sling it 80 yards. I don't see what they're looking to achieve by throwing it deep. I mean, O'Connell nearly had the hat trick in the first half, and... Now that he doesn't get it, don't give him another chance. A screen pass is very risky if the quarterback doesn't have the awareness to see a cornerback pinching there. So Take the risk of a big fumble or interception. It's just not worth it at but this point. But down 12 points, so he will drop back. A lot of pressure on him. He'll pitch it down. Number five will run, and he will be wrapped up and brought down, and that will end the first half. Alexander Throp stops, so it's been a fun first half for Cougar football. Oh, Privateer, Jonah Barbin. We'll be back in a second.
stream on this yet.
Back here, just about to start the second half. Jonah Barbin along with Cole Privateer. Christian Brettweiser will give the kickoff to start us out here. The kick is fielded at about the 25 and down there. Looks like Clay Morris there with the uh, final tackle. It'll be a first down for the Cougars. Here's the snap. Deep ball. And he got it. And he's got room to run. And he looks like he will get in. And it's really been a shootout today. And Cougars secondary has got to improve here because that's really what's been hurting them. Outside of Jack O'Connell making some key interceptions, they've gotten burned a few times deep down the field. So just like that, first play from scrimmage of the second half. It's a long touchdown from Cooper Leary to Alexander Throp. If you like scoring, this is a game for you. Nothing but offense. And it's a six-point game. The Eagles making to look at, may, uh, trying to make it five points here. This would be a big block if Cougars could send one back for a change. It's like a clean drive through the uprights. 26-21. We'll take a quick break. 13 seconds into the half. Fieldston lines up to kick it off. 26-21 after the long score there from Alexander Throp. Cougars got Trey uh, back to receive if it reaches him. Remember, Wilson found the end zone three times in the first half. Probably due for a couple more in the second. A bold statement, but could be very true. I don't know if it is that bold, but a squib kick. And covered up by the Cougars, number 11. I believe and that was Will Blake. A good play there. Good head awareness to cover the ball. Will Blake with a nice recovery there. And you can already see Fieldston is making changes in the playbook to try and keep the ball out of Trey's hands. Does not want to kick it deep and give it to him again, especially after his last kick return. Well, they figure Trey will get it out to around the 42-yard line and more anyway, so At they least. might as well squib it. No, I wasn't. Yeah, definitely not criticizing the play call there. As <laughs> Trey's done nothing but hurt Fieldston when he's got the ball deep. And now he'll line up wide. Christian takes a snap, and he'll QB sneak. He'll go left around, and not much, but a slight gain on a first down carry. Well, I'm not seeing a lot of variation in MK's playbook. A lot of sneaks from Brightweiser, and you got to be careful because he took that big hit in, at the end of the first. I don't like the QB sneaks. I honestly don't. I don't think they've gained as much as he has on just a uh, scramble. But I mean, and honest, honestly, it's better to put the ball in Wilson's hands at this point. I agree, especially because Christian could get injured, and Helmets already flew off a couple times. He's already had to step out and see the trainer. I think it's risky. Gives it to train. See, he's hard to tackle even when he doesn't get a big gain there, but he started to slow down on his per carry averages since the second quarter. Well, that'll set up a third down and six. And 
It'd be nice to see a throw from the Cougars here, some confidence in Brightweiser. Mm, yeah. I like to see it. They certainly have confidence in Brightweiser's legs, but let's see if they have it in his arm here. Interesting to see what the play call is. I like to think they're throwing it. Christian will take the snap. He'll roll out, and it looks like it's a throw, but a lot of pressure and another lob up, and wow. Another risky pass there by Christian. Lucky that one did not get intercepted. It was nearly intercepted by Ben Rosen Capalazzo. And that would have been his second interception. I think he got the first one. I believe that is correct. And it looks like uh, Cougars are calling punt, so it will be the first kick of the day if the uh, call holds up. It looks like Brightweiser was on the punt. Quarterback, kicker, punter. <laughs> they really like Christian's legs. What doesn't he do? And a deep kick, a lot of air on that. Christian looks like he's got skill as a punter. Number seven will run it down to the 35 before getting pushed out by the Cougar special teams. Well, it was a nice punt there, and now the Cougars have to be careful. I mean, already giving up a touchdown on the first play from scrimmage, they got to find an answer now. Really do. I mean, they're really... Really seem to be in control in the first half, but you know. I mean, it feels like the Cougars are outplaying them because they've put together more long drives, more turnovers, but Fieldson just makes those couple of big throws downfield and the secondary gets burned and keeps the score tight. Well, we've seen a story of two halves too many times to get too comfortable with the lead. Very true. Fieldson will throw it, overthrown there to number eight. Well, blitz coming, and uh, Cooper Leary makes a good decision. Better to throw it and take a risk there than take a big hit. Definitely. He's got to keep himself uh, healthy back there. Second and ten. We'll take the snap. Big blitz, but thrown to number eight again, and it does not look like the ref's calling it inbound, so that will be a uh, third and ten now. Well, that was Ben Rosen Capazella with a catch, but it's incomplete. I think it's Clay Morris with the uh, good cornerbacking. He definitely had the height mismatch on him, but made sure he didn't catch it inbounds. Well, the, uh, the sophomore cornerback from Maplewood with a nice play there to prevent a completion. Third and 10 now. And they will drop back for the pass. Play on a slant and he will have a nice block from number eight but a flag is down and that's gotta be a, he's still going. And Adam Erbs with a huge tackle right there. Well, you see they come across with the underneath pass, and the Cougars just can't make the tackle, but we'll see what this flag with is. With two flags on the play, that looked like a statement tackle by Adam. Number 56, Mike says stone on the Cougars, is saying it's against Fieldson. We'll see if he's correct. Looks like it's a block in the back on number eight, but we'll see what the refs call. Block in the back on Fieldson. And that's correct. It will indeed be a block in the back from the Eagles. So that will make it third and ten now. I think there was another penalty to offset. Got a rally screen here, boys. Oh, no, no, maybe not, no. It'll be third and 11, it looks like. I think it block in the back moved them back from after the gain was made. Well, there could be a potential pass coming here and you know the success they've had so the Cougars have to look out here. Really have to be wary of a deep throw here but they've got Trey Krish and Jack all lined up so I like their odds here. Deep pass, big catch as whoever number 18 is on the Cougars could not keep with number two on Fieldston. And what did I say, Mr. Privateer? Got to look downfield for the deep pass. Got to look downfield for the deep passes. It's not been, it's not been helping out the Cougars right now that too many deep throws. So it'll be another first and ten for Fieldston. Definitely hate to see it if you're a defensive player on the Cougars right now because you're making all the right plays and then just one throw. And now we'll have a handoff, and he will be just absolutely gobbled up by number 28, Blue, who is Ethan Gross, Ethan on the Gross with a big tackle there. 
Ethan Gross, one of the captains of this team, along with Adam Herb, Trey Wilson, and Christian Breitweiser. And that core leadership has really proved well throughout the season here. Really kept the team together. Well, not only throughout the season, throughout the game. They've all made contributions today. On, Definitely. Now we'll see Fieldston line up in the, uh, sh in the shotgun here. Play action. Deep down the field and another completion for number 12. And a little soft at the linebacker position today, just over the yeah. middle, allowing some... Too many gaps down there, too many gaps. The slant pass has been working too well on this drive. Yeah, that, that little underneath pass is hurting the Cougars here. And in the first half, it was down the sideline. Maybe they shored that up, and now Fields in exposing a different weak spot in the defense. Made good adjustments at halftime. Now they are primed to take the lead here with 32 yards to go to the end zone. Another shotgun formation here, four receiver set. Draw to 44, and he will pound up, it looks like another seven yards, seven yards maybe? Looked like about seven yards, and the offense has been working for the Eagles all day, and like you said, now they're threatening to take the lead in a game where it looked like at halftime the Cougars had control. Really did. It looks like they've been playing dominantly, but Fields been putting together a great drive here. Cooper Leary set up in the shotgun again. And another handoff. And he will be tackled, but he fell forward, so it looks like he'll pick up some looks good like yardage. First down. First down. Yep. Adam Herbs and Don Greendale combined to bring down the ball carrier. Stop. Adam Herbs, Dom Greendale. I've been hearing their names a few times today. Oh, certainly. Been a big part of the defensive effort. Just about seven and a half minutes to go here in the third quarter. Let's go. Let's go. Help them out. We'll see what the throw, what the play call is here. And it is a throw, and he is set with a big play by Luciano Calandra coming in out of nowhere to absolutely destroy the quarterback. Huge sack from Calandra and just drives the quarterback right into the ground. The freight train was coming And there. the celebration was there too, which you love to see. What was funny was Sestone also in on the pressure was celebrating more than Calandra. Calandra said all he needed to say with that big. Sestone loves to get excited and I love to see it also. Oh, so Stone fires up these fans. He's the, certainly a really crowd favorite. He is. Without a doubt. My favorite. He's Jamin Maestrich's famous all, famous, favorite. Yes, Jamin Maestrich, the, a former player on the team and also our photographer. And that will be a decent run, but he will be brought down by Michael Sestone. Well, there he is. Big 56. The big tackle there to make it third and 15 here. Mike's a stone, a linebacker here on the varsity football team from West Orange, New Jersey. Now he's gonna get robbed, nice Jenna. I didn't say where. 12 drops back, almost sacked by Christian Brettweiser, but then he is sacked by what looks like oh! with the celebration too. Dom Greendale. Dom Greendale with his second sack of the game, I think. And he's making big moves out there today. And boy, hey, if you're watching the live stream, rewind it and watch that celebration. He's got some swag, folks. He does. And that's what the Cougars need this year, a little bit of swag. And that'll bring up fourth and 15, a subject that the Eagles don't want to face, but they're gonna have to. That's the white game. Looks like they're going to go for it here, and don't think I can blame them, and I guess they have no confidence in the field goal, but 15, they've made these plays before. He will drop back, throw it. No, he'll run, and he will get brought down. A turnover on downs as Adam Erbs and Dom Greendale clog up the middle, and that's that run defense that you love to see from the Cougars. Well, Cole, it's a, it's a nasty combination, those two, and they've been eating up the Eagles all day. Without a doubt, Adam Herbs, possibly the quiet hero of the Cougars. 
as he just makes plays every single time. Well, big plays on that drive by Mike Sestone, Dom Greendale, Adam Erbs, and Luch Calandra, and that'll result in a turnover on downs. Cougars will take over at the 31. And let's see if the Cougars offense now can set up something here and give them a more secure lead. Brightweiser and Wilson in the backfield. Snap will go from Sheffitt to Christian Brettweiser. Pitch to Trey Wilson. And he will, with the stiff arm, loop around. He scored on something like this last game. And he has room to run, and he will take it down to the 27, it looks like. Well, that's what makes him a leader on this team. I mean, that play was going nowhere, and he can turn it into a positive game by flipping around, going exactly. to the other side of the field. Turning nothing into something. That's what you need to see. It's a great stiff arm there, too. A talented, talented player right there. He's got the Madden cheat codes on right now. No one can take him down on one tackle. Well, we've established good fantasy player, good Madden player, and good real-life player. Full package is going to take the snap here. And he will take it in the Wildcat, go up the middle. Nobody can get him there, and he is loose for another big run. And some suspect blocking there by the right side of the offensive line, but it's no matter as he managed to move the chains on that one. Boy, it was a good run, but I saw the fans almost explode here at Van Brun. It was almost his fourth touchdown of the game, just inches away from breaking the final tackle. Snap to Christian as he will take it now. From the right, great block there from 28 who is Ethan Gross. Just about out to the 50, and it'll be second down. And I'd like to see Ethan Gross get the ball a little more on the offensive end, but whatever the coach has been doing offensively, it's been working as they've got 26 points with four minutes to remain in the uh, third quarter here. Well, like we said, they seem to have strayed away from the gross running plan today, but the Trey Wilson has worked very well, so just fine, yeah. cannot have any complaints here. And now will be a handoff to Spagnoli, who started the season as the every down running back, but a huge carry there. Big time game by Spagnoli. He's a tough runner, isn't he? Hard nose. Definitely. Once he gets going, you don't want to face him when he's going downhill. Well, different running styles. Trey Wilson will juke you out. This guy, he'll come right at you. And that's what you like to see. You gotta vary off the run styles here if you're gonna get success on the ground. Well, the Eagles have certainly been challenged by all of MKA's weapons. They're all on display today. Now we'll see a two running back set here. Trey will go out, and now he wanted the screen. Chris will take it, and he will be tackled after a short gain. The ball comes loose, but I think the play is over. Chris took a hard hit there, and takes a, he's grabbing his right wrist, and that's not what you want to see right now from the starting quarterback. Well, it's what we talked about. We said we wanted to see less quarterback runs. Give it to Trey Wilson. Don't risk injuring your quarterback. And now Chris uh, looks like he's walking off the field right now. No, he'll play though. He'll play the down. Good toughness. You like to see it, but if he doesn't think it's going to affect him, it's good. But if he throws an interception right here, we'll be might be singing a different tune. Cole, he's a tough football player. He is a tough football player, and he's shown it today. He is not afraid to go into contact to try and make a play, but he'll go right to Trey. He'll take a great block from Christian Brettweiser, and you love to see it. He's willing to sacrifice his body for something that won't show up on a highlight reel. I mean, that really says something about Brettweiser's character. He's the quarterback, and he was a little shaken up after last play. No hesitation to make a big block for his team. Run right into him, and that, you know, it's a game of yards, game of inches, as you said, and that just helps him get another couple yards. Well, we'll see a third down and seven. Maybe another pass here, Cole? Well, I'm guessing no, but we'll like to see what happens as Ethan Gross comes onto the field here. Inside of two and a half minutes now. At this point, I'd maybe look at just doing two runs here as 41, they're in fourth down territory. And a whistle before play, and their flag will be down. Delay of game. And that will be a crucial five-yard penalty. And one of Cougar's few penalties today, but does not make this one less detrimental to the drive. I mean, it's just really tough to have that third and seven, maybe a third and 12. It's got to be a pass now if you have any intention of getting the first. You'd think so, but have not thrown it down historically, so 
Let's see what happens here. I mean, you never know. With Wilson in that backfield, he could take it a long way. I'm always surprised they never throw it the tray downfield. You never see it. It's but Christian will roll out, and he will throw it down to Ethan Gross, it looks like, for a good play. And yeah, Ethan Gross makes the reception. And now we're looking at a fourth and short. And you got to think they're going for it here. Well, I do. Great throw from Breitweiser, but O'Connell was wide open downfield. It would have been a tough throw, but ah, just made it happen. And right the tray here. He'll take it himself, and he will go up the middle for the first and more as nobody can take him down behind the line of scrimmage. Oh. Sheffitt with the good block there. Another senior leader. A nice block there from David Sheffin. We'll continue this drive. The senior from Roseland. Again, and what's with this hometowns, Jonah? <laughs> Just giving the audience more information. I also don't know where you're getting this information, but Christian will take it on the ground. Oh, well, that's my secret. <laughs> Continuing to run it to Christian here. They are not afraid to give him the ball. And Cole, we are officially inside a minute to go here in the third quarter. And it'll be a great fourth one by the looks of it. A five-point game, I mean. Anyone's, honestly, it's anyone's. Doesn't get much closer than this. And even if the Cougars do manage to stick it in here, with Fieldston's ability to throw it deep, nothing is over to the final horn. Well, it's second and seven now. Trey will get the ball, and he looks like he has room. 11 with some great blocks. He'll take it down to the 10-ish, inside the 10. Well, and another first down there for the Cougars, and I believe Wilson got out of bounds. And Will Blake with some good blocking there to help Trey get it down the field. So the clock will officially stop at 29 seconds. As they are lining up with a first and 10 from about the 12. O'Connell has one-on-one -on -one coverage on the outside. He does. You like to think the coaches are looking at that. But it's a pitch to Trey, and he will go fumble. And we'll see what they call as there's a dog pile downfield right now. Zoom in on that and see. And Fieldston with the recovery. And that's just that's just a demoralizing play here. Well, Cole, Trey offense. Wilson has been nothing short of excellent all day, but just a tough, tough break there for yeah. him and the Cougars. Flew out. Nobody got on it. But see if they can make another stop here on the defensive side with 20 seconds to play in the third. Fieldston has a long field, but it's not always, has not stopped them since as they made some huge throws down the field. Well, if you're the Cougars defense here, you got to be thinking, hey, we can't give up another long one. No. Got to maybe drop a safety back or something. I don't know. But. Looks like the Cougars will go scoreless in the third quarter, barring any sort of miracle here. Well, and as you said, it really sets us up for a great fourth quarter. It really does. Losing team down one score with the ball. And a run to 44 will take it with room. And he will get dragged down by O'Connell. And another DB for a huge carry on first down there. And will that take us into the fourth? Well, 44 has been thrashing through the, the Cougars' defense all day. And they're going to need to find an answer for him in the fourth. It's true. Made a lot of great moves up the field. And he's also not on the sheet, so we can't have his name here. But maybe he's a ringer. Nobody knows if he's actually part of the team. Well, that'll send us to the fourth quarter. Cougars have a five-point lead. We got a great fourth quarter coming up. Don't go anywhere. That'll end the third quarter.
And we're back here as Fieldston will take it out of the shotgun. Hand off the 44. He will get brought down by a team effort there. Started off by Patrick Morriso, another senior lineman out on the field. Well, we said that one of the keys of the fourth quarter was bottling up number 44 and off to a good start. See if they can keep the trend going. Second and 10 here, just underway here in the fourth. All things considered, though, I think the Cougars' run defense has been pretty solid throughout this game. It's really been a couple secondary lapses that's hurt them. I mean, and at the same time, their secondary has two interceptions via Jack O'Connell. That is true. And he will roll out, and that's another over, oh, no, almost a catch there. Overthrown, a hard throw to make on the run there. Just out of the, the reach and grab of Gabe Hostin, and he he hurt them downfield before, so I, a scary sight there, a near miss. And now we'll set up for a third down with 10 to go. This is, this is a huge third down right here. Huge third down. I mean, you gotta assume they're punting here if they don't get close to the fourth, or even if they do get close to the fourth, I don't know. They had a tendency to play it risky on the fourth down calls. So. Just such a tight game here, and this, this third down means a lot to both sides. You gotta know that. It's everything at this point. And they will line up. Five looking like they're coming into blitz for the Cougars. And six will come in, and a throw, and not completed with some great pressure and some great defensive calls here by the Cougars' defensive coordinator. Well, Cooper Leary was really strong in the first half, but the Cougars have really been able to bottle up his throwing game, and that's been a key here to maintaining the lead. If they can keep it continued, we'll see a uh, good W for the Cougars here, but it looks like they're lining up the punt here, first one of the game, so Trey will get to try his luck at a punt return here. Already had a kick return, and he will Bomb it downfield. Trey with the bobble will uh, barely scoops it up, and the ref will blow the whistle there, and Trey won't get a chance to run it back, and he does not look happy about that. Well, rightly so. He had a lot of room to run there, but just yeah. could not come Could have given them a short field, and now they've got 80 yards to go, which is no small feat if the offense has not proved it. Well, Cole, I think the key here is not necessarily scoring. they got to run down the clock a little bit. They I mean. do. That's that's true. But at the same time, I don't feel so secure with a five-point lead here with the guns they've uh, thrown downfield for Fieldston. But I mean, ideally, you run the, you run the clock down uh, to yeah. about five that's minutes really and get in the end zone. That's, that's the perfect world. If they can do that, we're looking uh, pretty set for the Cougars right now. Because if you think about it, they run down the clock, but then Fieldston comes back with a touchdown, then you're looking at True. very little time. Not good. Especially, and the thing is, the Cougars do not want to be having to make a fourth quarter drive here, as they've not proved that they could throw the ball enough to make any real plays and keep the clock stopped. Christian will run it up the middle, and he will get tackled for a short gain. Again, I, I got to disagree with the play calls right now. I don't, I don't think they're getting much yards, and they're putting their quarterback in trouble. Well, Cole, I'm interested to see how long they're going to take to take the snap here, how much time they're going to be taking off the clock. Really That's get true. a sense of their pl game plan here. That's true. See what the coaches decide here. But it looks like they're lining up pretty quickly. But a player is down for Fieldston on the left side, number 79. Never like to see a player go down. So we'll take a break. Hope number 79 is okay. We'll be back.
pitch to Trey. Trey will run and he will get a decent gain here. Well, the key there, he got knocked out of bounds. No time's going to come off the clock. Still plenty of time for the Eagles. If they can get the stop here at all, or what they do is be interesting to see. It's, uh, it's third and six here. Big third down conversion if they can get it right here. To not have to make the decision about going forward on fourth. We'll see what happens. Ideal time for a throw, but it'll be a pitch to Trey. He will keep going after a first couple initial hits, but eventually drag down. Well, if I am the Cougars here, I'm punting. You got I'm punting too. The D has also made some two great turnover on downs in the last two stops. So you'd like to think you'd try and give him as shortest field as, po as possible. But with the punt return ability here, I don't know. But looks like Christian Brettweiser is lined up to boot it off here. And not a very deep position from Hostin. No, he does not have a lot of faith in Chris's kick. And that is a horrible punt there that will bounce back. So a kick of about eight yards maybe, you got to think that's not what the Cougars wanted to see. I have to say, Hostin was a little generous on the field position there. Very generous there. Only lined up maybe 40 yards deep, but he gave him about 32 too many. Well, you know Brightwise was frustrated there, but he's made contributions all day. Shouldn't keep his head down. I believe but he'll make some more now. Make up for it. Defense cannot be happy about that. Well, we've had a great game today. 9.49 left in the fourth quarter. And we've seen the defense pick it up in the second half also. It was only one score. Fields and quarterback blocked. Intercepted. Ethan Gross will take it. Will he get there to the 20, the 10, the 5? And he is in the end zone for a huge defensive Ethan Gross with the and 10. He spike the pick and the spike. It doesn't get better than this. Senior captain Ethan Gross. That's what you like to see. And he hasn't done as much as we'd like to see him do in the first half. But then he gets the ball on D and he'll take it to the house himself. Love to see it. Cougars get a great defensive score here and Fieldson is now in a rough position. Well, Cole, that puts him up by 10 with about nine and a half minutes remaining. And a kick here would be huge to make them need two touchdowns to extend this game. And Christian, Two for four with another miss on the day. And that will be his fourth miss of the day, I think. Fourth miss? Third miss. Well, regardless, it was a beautiful tip and pick and run back by Ethan Gross. We'll take a quick break. Cougars lead by 10. Gross comes in with a huge play there on a blocked throw, pick six, and now we have a kickoff here for the Cougars. And coming off another missed PAT for MKA, and you'd like to think they're going to work on that in practice this week as they've missed four today. And a short kick by Christian will give them good field position as Fieldson will set up shop at the 45 here. Well, a nice return by Noah Baharian. Yeah, Cole, I agree. Ethan Gross's contribution there, that, that might seal the game. Might, might be. Might be one of the biggest plays of the game, if not the biggest right there. Especially as the defenses have really started to tighten up in the second half, and MKA's offense looked like they slowed down. So it's great to give him a good shot here. Well, that's what you need from a good football team. If your offense ain't working at times, your defense got to do something, and they did there. Exactly. The offense and defense have flipped the responsibilities in this half. As MKA's defense has outscored their offense in the second half. 12 will drop back, and he'll take it himself with some room to run. Trey Wilson stumbles 
but he will come back and force him out of bounds. And Jesse Cooper Leary looking like a running back on that play, making a lot of nice moves. Making a lot of guys miss too. He's had a great game also. So that'll be another first down. 9.25 to go. We'll see what the play call is here for Fieldston as they do have time, no doubt, but we'll see what happens here. Mr. Official, what's the score? 31-21. He says it's 31-20. And he will run with a good run down the field. Yeah, well, another nice run. The Cougars need to get some pressure here. I mean, the time when their defense is the best is when their guys are getting in the backfield. You saw there with Gross. You saw before with Herbs. Tom Greendale, Mike Sestone. Luch Calandra, the Definitely. guy gets to the quarterback. It should be 32. It should be 32 to 21. It should be 32, yeah. And a little score controversy. And timeout Cougars. And there's there's been a little score controversy. It's not 31-21, it's 32-21, which is which is huge. Make it much harder for Fieldston to come back. And we're gonna take a quick break here. Stay with us. Eight fifty to play, down eleven points. Well, second and two here, and need a score. Well, let's see what the defense can do. Hand off to number five, ripped, almost ripped, but still brought down. Ethan Gross, huge contributor on that tackle here. He's coming huge in the second half of the Cougars D. Well, I Throp thought he could got could get through there, but got ran into the wall right there. A brick wall is Ethan Gross. We've seen Morisot, Herbs, Gross, Calandra, Greendale, Sestone. A lot of contributions here on the Cougars run stop. And let's not forget O'Connell in the secondary. Yeah. Not seen Trey make too many plays deep down the field, but he's done enough for he's done enough for both sides of the football. Well, Cooper Leary on the keeper for a couple. We'll bring up. Uh, and we'll see Adam and Ethan make another tackle. Will that be a first is the question. And they're going to signal They're going to call they? it a first down there. You know, if I was the Cougars, I mean, I know high school football hasn't gotten to that point, but I'd be throwing the red challenge flag. You'd be throwing the red challenge flag? Well, I would, I would want to take a look. It looked like a generous spot. Well, we got the tape here, so we can go to the booth and... Get a review in there. Well, from up here in the booth, it didn't look like it, but. <laughs> and it will be a pitch, and he will have a good room to run, making a couple guys miss, staying on his feet, and bringing it down to the Cougars 19, and they are in the red zone. Throw up again, putting on the moves, some juke moves, some spin moves, and a nice run. Pressing all the buttons right now. That was the quarterback, Wiser on the tackle. And they will run it to number five again. He will go almost into the end zone there, and he will take it after in a very athletic move there. 
making many Cougars miss, and he's had a drive today on this one as Fieldston steps in and gets a touchdown, keeping this game alive. Well, Fieldston makes this one a lot closer, and let me tell you, with seven and a half minutes to go, five-point game, it could be a four. You've got a lot of football to play right now. No idea who's going to win this game. This one's a close one. Looks like Fieldston will be going for two, which is definitely a smart play call here. As four points doesn't help them more than five would. Well, they want to get themselves a Set field goal could tie it. Definitely. Smart play here. Let's see if the Cougars can come up with a strong stop here. And they will not, as number 12 will rush it in to make it a 28 to 32 score game here. Well. A little quarterback keeper there from Cooper Leary. And now a field goal ties it. Sets up for a kick. I think we'll see him go short here because they do not want to give it deep to uh, Trey Wilson here. Well, it's the classic debate. Can you go deep and stop him, or do you do you risk the short swip kick to avoid Trey Wilson? Well, they've shown they've got some other guys who can move out here. They've got Jack O'Connell down there by the 30. Trey's all the way back to the 5, and it will be a short kick. 13, Narain will dive on it, and a big play there. Great hands by MKA TV's very own Narain Rajani. As he has a couple receptions today and a big gobble up there, as it would have been very bad if he muffed that one. But now the Cougars need to drive down the field to try to make this a two-score game. Would be huge if the Cougars could capitalize on this one, or at least get a field goal here. As we see Gross and Brightweiser, two big contributors, two team captains running out to the hoe. We've seen nothing but good things from Ethan today. Christian back under center. He's had a day for himself as well, and he will take it himself, and he'll get a good run up the middle there on a first down carry. Well, another QB keeper, and that time it worked out. Brightweiser with a nice gain there, and it'll be second and four coming up. Curious to see if they ever give uh, Ethan the ball going up the middle here, as they've shown that they're not looking for it today. Maybe it's a matchup thing. Well, I don't know. Whatever their game film and scouting told them, it's been working out. Out over 30 points, which can never be uh, looked down upon. In the first game, they scored 41 in a 41 nothing route yeah. to victory, but... Otherwise, this is one of the best offensive showings we've seen from this team. No doubt today, as the first half alone they came in. Christian will take it up the middle again. Not a big carry that time, and I just don't like to see it. I don't like to see it. I didn't like that there. I think they need some, some diversity, switch it up a little bit in the playbook. Now what I've really liked to see from Chris is he's held the ball very well. Zero fumbles, nothing like that, and he's had some struggle with that earlier in the season. So... It's good to see he's kept on to it today. Oh, the only fumble today by Trey Wilson was a tough one, but otherwise, obviously, he's been crucial for the team's offense. And he has not been human Third today. and four here, looking like, as Trey will take the snap, and he will run it himself outside, and he will get back to the line of scrimmage and nothing more. Well, Cole, it's just, it's just not enough variation right now. If you're going to try to run it up the gut three times with whoever's just snap it to him and run it, it's not going to work no, every time. Not. And we've been surprised as it is that the Cougars have managed to put up this many points without having really any throwing game here. Well, and just their points come down to a few key breakaways by Trey yeah. Wilson and Ethan, Ethan Gross. Gross. And Jack. other than that one throw to Jack O'Connell down in the end zone after a drive that was all on the ground. 
We'll see what they do is a oh. fake punt gives it around to Jack O'Connell, and he does not seem stopped as he picks that up the first. first. And Jack O'Connell also having a day to day. Great play call, a lot of creativity there to keep the ball in the Cougars' hands with under six to play in the fourth. Well, Cole, what did I say? Diversity in the playbook. Switch it up, get creative. That's what they did there, and they pick up a key first down. You love to see it. I was thinking that it was a questionable call to punt there as Christian has had some struggles there and the return team for Fieldston has proved themselves to be noteworthy. But keep the ball here. Let's see what they do. Just under yards. six minutes to go here. Chris will take the snap, hands it off to Trey. He will spin and break him, runs into his own blocker and he will get back to the line of scrimmage. And he slowed down a little bit in the second half, I hate to say, but. I mean, if you see Trey Wilson, he's, he's on the close side here to our booth, and he's just so dynamic when he's running, even though not much there. It's always exciting to see him run. It's even when he doesn't make a huge play, he always makes the first guy miss, and that's what you like to see. So you can't really blame him. Just so impressive to see him working out there. A lot of hustle through and through by the Cougars team. Nobody can say they're not working right now. Well, it'll be second and nine, and we're just about inside five minutes to go. Christian will take the snap here, and he will drop back for a rare throw, and a, not a great throw there at all, as it will be picked off and returned by number 11. Don't really know what he saw there. Not smart to throw off the back foot, especially when protecting a lead. Well, Cole, they bought the pressure there on Christian Breitweiser. An off-balance throw picked off. Pick six by Jake Horowitz. And now, suddenly the Cougars have lost the lead. Point game here and we'll see if they this will be this is a huge this is huge. Here. Although if the Cougars kicking continues the way it is, I don't know if it really is a huge because I don't think they could get a field goal anyway. Here's Throp on for the extra point after a huge, just a huge interception for Horowitz and the Eagles. And the kick is good. Well, now the Cougars need a touchdown, and suddenly, what do we say? A story of two halves? Now the Cougars are down. We'll take a quick break and see if the Cougars can come back. Four minutes and 50 seconds to go. Don't go anywhere. They've had a propensity to want to kick it short here. It'd be interesting to see now leading if they'll stick with that strategy. Or try and kick it deep and risk putting the ball in Trey's hands after he's already had one kick return today. But he will line it up and go short here as that will roll out of bounds. Uh-oh. We'll and a flag for the going out of bounds. And we'll see if the Cougars decide to accept it this time. I would as it doesn't look like they're going to kick it deep anyway. I don't know. It's a big decision. I, I might want to have them re-kick it from deeper. That's true. That's true. See what they call. So the Cougars will take the ball here. Interesting. I don't know. Any chance to have Trey Wilson, especially with the offense stagnant in the second half? I don't know, Cole. I don't know about this. It does not look like they wanted to kick it even if they got it again. It could have been a short kick again. So we'll see what happens. Here's Cougars decision. set up shop on the uh, their own 36. 
Oh, boy, you can feel the excitement in the air. I mean, this is this is a really good game right here. Four minutes and 50 seconds to go. This is where this is where the game is won and lost. Christian will line up under center. And we really need to put together a strong offensive drive here that the Cougars have not been able to put together since the first half. And Christian will take it and go absolutely nowhere. And again, where, what is the play calling strategy right here? It's just not been working. It's just what it is. I mean, the Cougars saw success happening. when they tried something new. I think they got to try something else new right here. I think they got to. I think you're absolutely right. They got to vary the play calls here. They got to maybe try and go in the air, or at least give the ball to a couple different guys here. As you cannot put any blame on Christian there, as he's just trying to pound it up the middle. And Fieldston, they can put four guys. Look at this. They have eight guys in the box right now because they know they're not going to throw it. But Trey is deadly no matter what, and he will get a small gain there. But but he slashed right through those guys. Those eight guys in the box didn't matter to Trey. He still got a decent game. It's hard to run it when the defense has absolutely no faith in your passing. Third and five here. Crucial play. I I might I would throw it here. Six yards to go. I just... And Trey will take it out of the Wildcat himself, and he will pick up the first and more on a huge play down to the 39, and he is absolutely deadly. Well, it doesn't matter what I would run. It matters what the Cougars would run, and they pick it right there. I think the Cougars have only thrown the ball maybe seven times today as Trey takes in the Wildcat again and gets a, maybe a one-yard gain there. Seems to be at about the Fields and Eagles 38-yard line. 3.30 to go here, down by four. Christian lines up, takes the snap. Looks like he's rolling out to pass. The pressure's on him. He escapes pressure. He's got to get rid of the ball. And he makes a throw to Trey, but does not get back to the line of scrimmage. And we have a third and long set up here. Well, they're going to lose yardage on that play, but they could have lost a lot more. Way to escape that tackle by Christian Brightwise. Great. I mean, that would have been a horrible uh, situation for the Cougars to have been in if they had to go third and 22. So... Josh, to avoid a loss. Josh Thomas was in the backfield on that one, and Brightweiser did a great job to avoid him. Good hustle there, getting off the field. It's all about the little things. That was Spagnoli. Make sure the Cougars didn't get any unwanted penalties. So it keeps teams going. Got some motions going on. Trey will get the ball, and he will go up the middle. And I just don't like the... I mean, it's just not working is what it is. Trying to run it to the side. Trying to do a pitch, a screen, something. But to throw it deep down here might be a good idea. Well, for our viewers, get excited, because this is probably the biggest play you'll see all game. Two minutes remaining, down by four in enemy territory. Fourth and nine. This is a huge one. And he will take the snap. He will pass. He will throw to Trey Wilson and just just a bad throw. I don't know what else to say. He just threw it closer to the cornerback than Trey. Trey had no look at it. And that looks like it's going to set Fieldston up for a good chance at a little victory drive here. Well, it is picked off by Jake Horowitz. Has hurt them all day. He also had the pick six. And that, that might sadly seal it here for the MKA Cougars. Might be as... Cougars have thrown as many balls to the other team as they have to themselves so far, so it's really hurt them. Well, if, if you're Fieldston here, you got to just run it. I mean, you got to force the Cougars to use their timeouts. Only yeah. two remaining. They need to stop at something here. You know, it really hurts that the Cougars had to use a timeout before on that little clock trouble because... Very much so. For the minute 50, they should just run it. But a big gobble up in the backfield there. As Ethan Gross. Ethan Gross all over it. Entire line, though, came in with the heat. So the D has been doing everything they can in the second half to stop them. An interesting decision. They're not going to decide to burn one of their timeouts here. Well, I guess you can't, honestly, because what are you going to do? I mean, I guess I guess what, what you hope for is a, a quick stop here, timeout, and then another quick stop, and then you have a fourth down punt coming. 
try and get the ball back here, but I don't know if it'll happen. As they will hand it off again. He has some room, but a absolutely huge tie-up by number 74, who I believe is Patrick Morriso. And, and just on cue, there's the timeout. There is the timeout. We'll stop the clock there. Oh, Sheffitt with the stop. Sorry. Great tackle there. All right, so the Cougars will take a timeout and a big third down coming when we come back. Play resume. And six here for Fieldston, and we need a Cougar stop here if this game is going to keep going. Remember, they have that one timeout if they can force a fourth down. And he will scramble. He will have room to run, and it looks like he picks up the first there, and that should end the game. Well, as that's it. 12 will be super excited about that play. Oh. Uh, flags are down for excessive celebration, maybe, but if it is, that's a horrible penalty to take for Fieldston. This, it was definitely a first down. But first anyway, so it should be over no matter what. Well, the Cougars managed their timeouts well, despite what we said, but just couldn't get the stop. Could not. And so we'll see what the refs decide here. You just feel bad. The Cougars look demoralized out there. You can't blame them after the last couple offensive possessions here. I mean, just a long day of a lot of scoring, and, and it looks like they're going to come up on the short side. A heartbreaker forever loses this one, and it appears to be the Cougars. First of four Cougars league games here, so especially brutal loss on a game that they thought they were going to win going into it. But there's still a minute to play, so we'll see what happens. Certainly an important game for the Cougars, and they play their hearts out all day, but it looks like it might just come up a little short here. And the chains uh, will be moved up here. Mm. <laughs> so the Cougars have one timeout. They could use that on whatever play they want, but otherwise they're just going to be able to run out the clock here are the Eagles. Barring a miracle here. And the ball will be moved back deep. And we'll see what down it is. If it's but still a first. I think it is irrelevant. a first, so it is irrelevant. But yeah. If it was a holding or something like that, but no. A holding, that'd yeah. be huge. But it, no. it, just a personal it's foul. It's first and... It looks like more than no. It's still first and 15. Me, oh, no, I don't know what they're doing I, with the chains I, right now down I there. I mean, the key fact to remember is that you just don't have time. Down. Yeah. So. Yeah, and if it's first down, really nothing the Cougars can do at this point, <laughs> barring a turnover. Have to be a big mistake. You think we can almost QB kneel it at this point? Yeah, I'd say one run here, make the Cougars burn their last time out, and then just kneel it. I'd say you almost don't want to even put the ball in play here and risk a fumble or risk a strip. I mean, if, if you want to take it, just a plain QB now. We'll see what they do here, but. And a lot of people in the box here as they will run it and drag down immediately. Well, Cole, I have to say that looked like the Cougars' chance for the turnover. They could have tried to strip the QB. They weren't able to here, and now they could probably just nail it. Should be over here. Last time out for the Cougars, and we'll take a quick break.
in with 55 seconds left, which looks like the game is kind of wrapping up here. Some Fieldston fans are having their words said as they're screaming at the refs from across. Don't really know what they're yelling about as it looks like they just secured the W here. Well, the Cougars are going to lose their first league game. It was a hard-fought hard fought effort all day. It really was. Trey Wilson. It. Disappointing for the Cougar fans right now as they really poured their hearts into this one. And that'll do it. Clock will wind down and the players walk off the field. Well, that is game. It, well, Fieldston wins at 32-36. It's, it's really been a pleasure being with you folks. Thank you for tuning in. For uh, yep. this Cole Privet here. Uh, this is Jonah Barbin. Well, it's been a pleasure. We hope to see you next time. Have a good night. Two in the afternoon. Thank you for attending, Cougar fans.